Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's me, Decap Jedi, BMX Legend, and uh, Spooky Tom Streamer. You know me. Good to see y'all, everybody. It's uh, glad you could be here tonight on a Friday night. Friday the 13th as I record this. Now, if you're watching this later on a VOD, I think for the sake of avoiding bad luck, it's probably best that you just like save this one to watch later until the next Friday the 13th. I don't know what it could do to your computer, to your eyeballs, to anything else uh, trying to watch a Friday the 13th uh, stream on a non-Friday the 13th. But I, I will say, if you're watching this later, uh, proceed with caution, I guess is all I can do. Uh, that should uh, that should be the disclaimer I need to uh, protect myself uh, for any bad things that come your way. But if you're still around, we've got a real treat for you tonight. It's Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure. We might be ready to wrap this one up tonight, so I can't wait to see if we can actually pull all this together and make that happen. Welcome in. Pickled Dog, thank you so much for the resub. MB, etc. good to see you. Hope everybody's well tonight. Hope you've had a good start to your uh, your spooky weekend. Man, isn't October the best? We've been having just lovely weather. The leaves are changing colors. Uh, it's been uh, been good times. My daughter's uh, softball season's wrapping up. We've been having kind of you know you need a sweatshirt sort of games lately. Ah, that's uh, that's good. That's good autumn right there. But uh, yeah, it's been uh, been a fun Friday around here. Got a lot of work done, and now. You know what they say, uh, when the uh, when the cat's done working, it's time for the cat to then get around to playing with the mice. And uh, in this analogy, I'm both the cat and the mouse. Uh, so that's how I'm going to have twice as much fun. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Uh, where do we leave off and uh, give us a Cthulhu adventure? I mean, we're, we have two protagonists. We have uh, Buzz Kerwin. We have Don Archetype. Uh, we've been on a quest to figure out what to do with the Necronomicon. Uh, we have encountered uh, Barnabas, a guy who seems to know a lot about preventing unspeakable evils from being unleashed upon the world. Uh, we have recruited to hit our side his daughter, Peace. And now I think there's a Bob Olmstein who uh, seems to be our big baddie that we need to stop from raising an unspeakable elder god from the seas to possibly, you know, ravage uh, ravage the planet Earth. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what the stakes are here. But who needs stakes uh, when you have adventure? Let's just uh, let's just jump on in. Let's see that get it up. Yeah, there we go. All right. So when we left off, we just arrived at the big festival that's supposed to culminate. In, uh, <laughs> in the uh, raising of this elder god. Uh, we were playing as Don, now we have disguised ourselves as a, um, as a festival goer, and we have even added uh, an olfactory element of making ourselves smell like terrible, terrible fish. So that's where we're at. Good to see you, Chris Lache. Welcome in. Ooh, a sensitive cultist. That'd be me if I were a cultist. Well, this is just, I don't even want to know. Really, really not interested in what he has to say. Seriously, I don't want to know. What's creeping us out about this cultist? I'm pretty sure I would regret doing that. All right, well, that's a person we can't talk to. I have this dude in the foreground down here. Oh, intellectual. My people, eh? He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit-chat. That's uh, one way of approaching literature, I guess. So what's he doing? Slapping books on his nipples? Looks like he's slapping books on his you nipples. We'll learn the rituals in time for the festival, or else. Like some sort of self-flagellation kind of scenario. Hard to say. Ooh, a barrel. Those are always full of fun. 
Oh, an open barrel. Whoever could resist the primal urge to peek into its dark recess. Yeah, I said do that. I've got a rotten egg. Well, I can't smell it anyway. I, I guess I'll keep it. The book slap and barrel. And so a name tag. Randolph. Hmm. That's what you call a small library. A book slap and barrel. Hey, it's a door blocking my access to who knows where. Well then open it, you ding 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 donger. Hello there. Go away. So I uh take it you don't participate in the festival? Go away. That's that, I guess. <laughs> I don't even want to know what's going on inside there. So that ability, if you weren't here last time, is Don's newfound ability of basically what they call it, the Haunter's Mark. I think it's what it's called in the game, but uh, it's basically post-cognition. Uh, he can, like, sense things that have happened to objects and people in the past by using his Haunter's Mark. A couple of these lunatics pushing and shoving each other. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Old friend's green door and purple door. Not interested. I don't want to know. All right, let's see. Balanced cultist. I have no idea why she's doing that, but it's uh, kind of fun to watch. I don't want to break her concentration. This is quite a festival. Like, I don't know what to make of all this. But I think we've talked to everything, except for the two people guarding the gate. It belonged to a uh, Randolph. I have no idea why I picked this up. My brain had changed that to Rudolph when I saw it, which tells you I'm getting in the Christmas mood. I'm in the Christmas mood about seven months out of the year. A welcoming looking couple of local residents, I'm sure. I know it's hard to imagine, you know, if you've seen uh, my streams very often, but uh, I'm pretty full of Christmas cheer. Greetings, uh, uh, brother and sister. Hello and welcome to the festival, fellow believer. Forget all your worries and praise Dagon. But I compliment you on your that smell, Dagon, but... Dagon. Oh, uh, thanks. Just a uh, curiosity. Is it the socks? Uh, yeah, okay. It's the socks. That's what I thought. Enjoy the festival. Really, I can just go in? Oh, I figured that was a puzzle. It's usually a puzzle. This is a nice reuse of these areas. We uh, have them redressed here for the festival, but these are all places Other we've been to expected before. Did seafood? I detect a nice, healthy addition of carrots to his diet. Wow, that's some serious detective work. Everything okay up there? Blarg. All right then. Yes, we've solved our small puzzle. Uh, uh, one more isn't gonna kill me. Hey, corner cultist. Huh? Greetings, sister. Are you not bothered by the uh, the adjacent vomiting? Zishta zidaraku zibelurduk kanpa yashta kanpa ya. Yeah. It is a shame about the economy, but what are you going to do? Stagflation. All right, let's see what's going on here. These guys are whispering to each other in some language that's completely alien to me. Excuse hmm. me, brothers. Go away. Can't you see who I'm talking here? Hey, I'm talking here. It's a voodoo priest. Cool. It's another voodoo guy by the looks of it. Hey, do you know my friend the voodoo gentleman? Oh, a jalopy that I can interact with. Hello there, brother. Uwangba, Papa Lengba. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I had no idea. This thing isn't starting anytime soon. Corner, 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 Calistia. You stand by bar. Someone's really enjoying themselves up there. Hmm. 
Hmm. I got nothing to say. Well, well, well. Ooh, a crowbar. That's one of the best things you can get in any game. You're mine. You're mine. Bad news, crowbar. You're mine. Oil's leaked out of the abandoned truck into a big, slimy puddle. Hey, Tom. I guess I do occasionally burst into song, huh? I think I need a container. I know this puddle's history. It came from uh, that truck there. Let's see, a container fit for oil. Well, I'll just crack open my egg that with would a crowbar. Be excessive. <laughs> Getting it all oily will achieve nothing. Won't it, though? Not disturbing and. Okay, let's see what Doomsayer's up to. That I know Doomslayer. Really passionate about Father Dagon. I mean, honestly, I'm open to learning more about Dagon. Ah, oh, you say, uh, Father Dagon and uh, Mother Hydra, uh, our. Uh... Role models? They are our role models! <laughs> and it has never been uh, clearer that uh, with their help, we shall never. Uh, um, uh, lose. Lose? We shall never lose this fight for our uh, evil identity or know any other uh, gods. Uh, look around, brothers. Cast your eyes on the person next to you. What do you say? Well, I see a group of... Uh... Is there a Dagon in the Elder Scrolls? Why does that name sound so ding-dang familiar to me? Maybe in Oblivion or Skyrim? Dedicated followers? A group of dedicated followers! Like I've... I've never seen uh, before, and our numbers are always uh, Dagon. rising. There we go. Make no, uh, uh, no mistake. Our, um, our endeavor um, is a. Uh, uh, another step toward world domination. Our endeavor is another step to world domination. Uh, fear us. Uh, world, uh, take a good, um, uh, hard look at us, mm. for we shall bring nothing but, uh, um, uh, but, uh, mayhem and despair. Mayhem and despair to your doorstep. We are the next, uh, uh in, in line for, um, well, that didn't work. Oh, wait. So that's a puzzle. Oh man. Okay. We dedicated a group of dedicated followers. Like I've I've never. Think of Dogar and Kazon, the gods, uh, you try to you get to impersonate Star Control too. Interesting. Never played Star Control 2. Another Our endeavor. Death Death and destruction! Well. Huh. Wonder how I figured this out. They gon' judge me! They gon' judge me! Only Dagon can judge me. That's what my uh, tattoo says. These fellas here are really into their dubious book. Dubious book? I'll just not bother them this time. Nemo Curious, Lord of the Subtle Arts, open the gates of the sphere of thy spirit! Nemo Curious, master of the chemical science, open the gates of the sphere of thy workings! It's a bearded cultist hanging out by that trash can. Trash can cultist. Clap, 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 clap. I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. So, here I go. 
Oh, got a really rotten egg. Wow. And a, an even more rotten egg. And uh, a boot. Okay. What's this all about? Uh, hey, Alphax. Hello. Anything else? Guess not. Later. Have you had a chance to play this one yet? I've been enjoying it. We're, we're getting kind of close to the end, so I will say we might be in big spoiler territory, but... Hope you're doing well. Oh, hey. It's a lady cultist. Lady! Evening, madam. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hmm. Okay, there's further into the dark alley. Whoa. We get a load of all this. Hmm. These people back Kickstarter? That's Brother Jan. He joined our elite gatekeeping squad recently. Just like these other brothers, he's taken a vow of silence. But as you can see, he's still rocking out. Internally, as it were. Rock it out internal. Let's not and say we did. Let's do and say we Brother did. Brother Jan's part of my elite squad that's taken a vow of silence. That's Brother David, a member of my... Not much is known about him. <laughs> this guy truly is a mystery. That's Brother Matthew. He joined after searching for a way to unlock the secrets of influence in the universe. Anyway, it led him to Fishmouth. And now, ha, well, he holds a secret of his own. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I like this uh, performance. That right there is Brother Aylin. He hails from Transylvania, Romania. That's where we're Came from. That's where Bones is from. Elite forces. That's for sure. Okay, we're going to talk to you. Evening, uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Just seeking passage into the uh, derelict industrial premises you're currently eclipsing. Don't come here wasting my time, you hear? I want to get inside of the abandoned factory behind you, brother. Just say so, huh? So are you, Malusco? Hmm. You're darn tootin' I'm Malusco. <laughs> oh yeah? Good. Chief Piovera specifically said don't let Malusco in. Forget about it. Wait, 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 wait. I like this Joe Pesci Me? stand in Malusco? here. Huh. Mr. Confused Identity over here. Well, who are you then? Pescatori? Yep, in the flesh. Oh, good. You're finally here. I tell you, they say the worst that could have happened probably <laughs> happened. I always knew we shouldn't trust that psycho with the meal. The meal? Are you serious? Oh, I see what's going on. You're questioning my clearance level, huh? Yep. Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Don't worry. These guys are hardcore, but they took a vow of silence, so... I'm level 3 clearance. I pretty much know most of it. Hmm. Oh, yeah? Tell me what the meal is, then. Hope it's two rotten eggs. Bought a day gone, forgive our naivete. Is that how you pronounce that? How should I know? Pulling the wool over our eyes with talk of raising the meal. The ultimate feast for the dreamer. Mm hmm. Raisin Put meal. Your cobbling flesh together and raising that thing in Kraken Bay, that half goofa. It ain't natural. Goofa. You talking GMOs here or. Uh... I ain't in the mood for joking. He played us good, Pescatori. The dreamer yet hungers, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for Dagon. <laughs> Italian American Cthulhu cultist is very good. For Dagen, indeed. We've let him down, brother. We raised that thing for the dreamer to feast on, and now we just might have to face it. Ooh, that flesh taker and lunatic ran away with it. Oh wow, we know that for sure. It's been good throughout Halifax. We, I really to find enjoyed out for it. Sure, the elders won't let us regulars in the factory. Personally, I think he's long gone. But go ahead and find out. Thanks. Wait, wait. I got specific instructions, though. Hope you need two rotten eggs. You can eggs. go in, but only in the presence of Chief Piovra. Well, this couldn't be that easy, could it? So, where's Piovra? You're asking the wrong person, Fra. 
He's probably out boozing himself to death like he always do, right guys? Why do I keep talking to these mooks? Ugh, drinks like a fish, that Piovra. <sighs> Alright, I'll return with Piovra. See you guys. Salute! <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, that Yeah. Try and not. Okay, I wonder if he's in the bar. That's not and say we did. He's probably in the bar that's being blocked by the pastor who has a dialogue puzzle that I feel like there should be a clue for. Oh, we've got some other places we can go here. Before I determine there's no clue, let's see what else there is to see. Oh. It's a girl. She's the only hot spot on the it's screen. It's a teenage girl just hanging out near that wheelbarrow. That's some good teenage girl energy. She looks like an alright kid, uh, surprisingly. Hey, kid. Hey yourself, you stupid cultist. <laughs> Dagon judge you, child. Yeah, yeah, take your Dagon and... Let's, uh, maybe not go there. So, how's things? What's with the wheelbarrow? <laughs> What's with the wheelbarrow? Nice conversational spark up, square. Oh man, a teenager just called us a square. A square? Me? Yeah, man, you're like, like, square squared. Oh Sick no. Burn, dude. I know, right? Well, you do have a wheelbarrow. Yeah, so? Can't be cool next to a wheelbarrow, because you said so, Pops? Sheesh. Wow. Huh. I guess I really am a square now. Man, I used to be one of the cool kids. Yeah, don't say. Huh. Yeah, all right. I never was a cool kid. <laughs> guess I never really fit in, you know? What? Seriously? Yeah. Must be why I'm walking around in these ridiculous pajamas. I really like Don. Just trying to be accepted somewhere, you know? Oh, man. I... I feel you. Why are you, uh, hating on the order, though? <laughs> He's all street now. Your nomenclature's all over the place, buds. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of fish brains for worshipping that imaginary tadpole dad of yours. Uh, he's all right. Yeah, right. Dream on, pops. Tadpole dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I can see you. At least I got this. What? These stupid robes? Do they make you feel special, dude? I'm the same man underneath, but they like me more in these dumb rags, sister. Sister? It ain't the 70s anymore, daddy-o. Anyway, man, whatever flies, you're dirigible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I dig. Far out, bruv. <laughs> Can I let you in on a little secret? Wait, maybe I shouldn't. Your, your parents are probably in the esoteric order. Nah, man, they're not. My dad's a fisherman and that's it. All we do is deliver seafood to these wackos. Like Captain D's. What's the secret? Come on, tell me. Hmm. In a minute. How come your dad's not in the order? I don't know. He's not into that mumbo jumbo. I mean, he's cool with the festival. Because we get to sell a lot of fish to you loonies. Not me. I've come to hate fish. Yeah, ooh, tell me about it. But <laughs> we're depopulating these waters, man. What the hell do you people need so much fish for? You should just get as much as you need and stop making such a waste. Can't disagree with that. Look, I have no idea what all the fish are for. Uh, to honest. feed the Elder God that's about to rise up out of the sea, I would imagine. All right, the, uh, the secret is... I'm not really a cultist. I'm a private investigator. I snuck in here because I'm working a case. Whoa. Are you serious? That is so cool. Oh my god. Yep, it's true. Name's Don. Don Katype. Donkey awesome. Tap. I'm Joey. Nice hey, to Joey. meet you, Joey. Yeah, man. So you're not into all the festival stuff, are you, Joey? Gah. 
I can't stand all these creeps and creepettes swarming around town. This place is horrible enough as is. We don't need extra wackos. Is there, um, I know it sounds dumb, but is there, uh, is there fishy stuff going on in your family? Nah. I mean, I see what you're getting at, but some of these people are just, you know, ugly, I guess. It's not a mutation or anything, I don't think. Well, <laughs> you'll get really used to them when you see them walking around every day. I see. That's pretty bold of Don to roll into a town and ask a local why, why everyone's so ugly. So you're not into all the festival stuff, are you, Joey? Gah. Oh, yeah, Is yeah, there? Yeah. I know it's... No, it's not. Well... I see. Okay. See ya. Hmm. You don't wear that t-shirt in my house, Joey. I'll catch you later. Weird. See you, Don. Okay, maybe you'd like a boot? Nope. Maybe you'd like a very Not rotten a egg. a great gift for a teenager. Or anyone, really. Have you considered juvenile delinquency? Yeah, that's not happening. Would you like to change your Never. name? Ever go fishing? Maybe I should talk to her first. Okay. All right, no option there. See you. Okay, that gave us very little to work with. Maybe the hint for that dialogue puzzle that they think of Dagon as their parent. I'm not sure if that's how that puzzle's supposed to work. Whoa. This weirdo is really interested in what's yeah, going tadpole on. Tadpole dad, that's all I got. Don't want nothing to do with him. Don't want nothing to do with him. You ain't ready for the water yet, Eustace. Ooh, the Devil's Reef. The creepy horn-shaped reef is giving me the chills. And what are... What are those loons up to over there? Marching around like crazy people with their torches. Well, that's kind of just what everybody does around here. I ain't swimming there. What am I talking about? They are. Say, look at this floating cultist. He looks like he's guarding whatever insanity's going down in the water. Jeez. I'm leaving him alone. Glad I'm not. Hmm. Say it, God, and watch him take to the water. Yeah! Yeah! Father Dagon! Take them in his arms! That's where it all begun. That cursed place of all wickedness hmm. where the deep water starts. Gator Hill. She dropped down to a bottom no solid line can tick. Interesting. Distant splashing and craziness. It's a good hot spot. Some kind of... I don't even know how to describe it. It's going on far in the water. Next to the reef. It's like a bubbly mess of swimming cultists, but it's hard to make out in the darkness. Weird. Looks like schools of piranhas viciously squirming around. Hey guys, I'm not quit going it. anywhere near them. It is time, brothers. It is time. Oh man, eaten by murlocs. Recognize that sound anywhere? Hey, it's a dude. It's a non-festive looking dude, just chilling over there. It looks really out of place here. Evening, sir. No offense, but. You don't really look like you belong here. Oh, hey there, Padre. Yeah, hey. no, I'm kind of visiting only. I thought they didn't let visitors in during the festival. Depends on who you're with, bro. My wife's a regular. We're here on our honeymoon. Wow. <laughs> see nice see someone married. happily married. Yeah. Definitely. Didn't you get to experience that yourself, bro? Me? Happily? Huh. No. But, uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, <laughs> man, me too. You know what I love about Azanath? 
She's not one of those old business wives, you know? Oh, she yeah. About, I don't know, taking my life over. That's nice. Yeah, I love that she gives me my personal space. Azanath is the wife in the marriage we broke up earlier in the game who was like, <laughs> like possessing the body of her husband, I think. What else do you like about your wife? What she just you like lets your wife? me be me. That's major. Anything, uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. <laughs> I'd hate that. Yeah, she was literally possessing her last boyfriend. What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself and leaving my life and my time to myself. <laughs> Tell me another thing. This is a normal about. conversation. You know what? This conversation's yeah. getting a bit weird. And I'm too hungry for it. Ah, right. Sorry. Hungy, eh? Hey, what's with the passed out guy with the eggs? I don't know, dude. It's sort of gross, but at the same time, it's kind of ruining my appetite. Which is cool, though, because I've been waiting on my fish and chips forever. Yeah, he's out cold. Guess his eggs are free for the taking. I guess so, man, if that's your kind of thing. It's cool, bro. Seriously. I'm not judging. Yeah, thanks. It means a lot. It's turning into our thing. You know anything about a guy called the Butcher? Butcher? Unless he's in there preparing my fish and chips. Nah, dude. Interesting choice for a honeymoon. Yeah, well, sort of a goodbye to the old way of living on her part. As an F, I mean. Then we're totally changing our lives Damn. around. Oh, is she around? She's in there, getting some fish and chips for us. Ugh, not partial to fish myself. Then what the heck are you here <laughs> for, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't crazy about him either. But hey, but hey. when in Fishmouth, you know, we're splashing out into like a debauchery sort of deal while we're here. And then, then? we're totally changing our lives around. Okay, Ooh, tell me more about changing this. Your lives around. Yup, we're going vegan, baby. Oh, that's uh, nice, I guess. Concerned about uh, animal welfare and the environment. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that too, kind of. It's just, it's the end thing to be, you know. But we'll see how that goes. You never know. Who's we might just goes? go back to steaks afterwards. Hmm. Early raids of the steaks of this discussion. Isn't that a bit hypocritical? Going from vegan to meat eater. You just go from being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat to being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat. Works both ways. The beauty of symmetry, bro. Or shoe dining theory. Although... Yeah? Makes you think, you know. Sometimes I just sit and wonder, what gives us the right to kill and eat other beings just because they ain't human, you know? Because they can't reason like we do. So what? So what, bro? It doesn't take reasoning to know you don't feel like being gutted and eaten. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Now that's a word. That went dark all of a sudden. You telling me you never consider these things? An almost lifelong diet of steaks and cold hot dogs is a oh, hard thing to leave steaks, behind, I guess. Vampire but, thing. Uh, yeah, you know, they sort of make an interesting point there. Yeah, I think it's absolutely worth discussing these issues, you know? But discussing takes a lot of energy. And me, myself, I'm famished. Now, where's Azanath with those fish and chips, though? Alright. Enjoy the f. Frozen. And don't indulge too much. There's Gustav, there's formerly a ship, there's Sleeping Cultist. I'm pretty sure that's Gustav. Hey, up there. Gustav! <laughs> That's pretty funny. This bozo's out cold, feet in the air, underwear flying in the wind. Disgraceful. Wow. He also dropped all his eggs. Uh, yoink. I'm picking it up. Oh, God, I'm actually doing it. Oh. Sweet, very rotten egg. Man, I can't wait to do something with these eggs. Man, I'll just pelt that creature. He must have been out for a long time. 
And don't drink like a fish again. The eggs need to be there in time for the ritual. Ritual eggs, eh? This baby ain't safe. Dead in the water. Gustav! No! <laughs> Poor Gustav. Cult is sticking out of window, eh? That is the definition of rear window. Wow. We're full. Go somewhere else. Stop pushing. I don't think I want to. We're full. Stop. Hmm. He's got enough on his plate. What am I supposed to do here? I'm at a little bit of a loss. Let's drop a fishing hook. He's got enough on his plate. Down his plumber's crack. He's got enough on his plate. Hmm. No other exits. I think we fully interacted with all the hot spots. I mean, I guess I could go back and try the dialogue puzzle again. It still feels like this isn't something we should be guessing at, right? Excuse me, brothers. Ruth. We shall never surrender to or any true a group of true believers. Historical achievement. Our endeavor is a historical achievement. Fear. Death and death and destruction. Well, hmm. We got the sleeping drunk we just found. Yeah, maybe so. Don't know if I have a... I mean, I can throw a boot at him. That's a solution to a lot of things. That would just get it unnecessarily oily. Hmm. Let's see here. Doubt there was anything back on this screen. Got no time to effort. Okay, so that is not the solution. Doesn't look like there's anything back here. Do I really just need to keep pounding away at this dialogue puzzle? I mean, that's a lot of possible combinations with no feedback on whether you're right or wrong. Big they are our big achieve. Oh wait, did I tell him bad things? Maybe that's it. Maybe I give him a bad sermon. Oh, you say? Biggest problem. They are our biggest. Yeah, turn the crowd against it. They get your It has never been uh, uh, clearer that uh, with, with that. Achieve anything. We shall never achieve anything. This is good. Okay, no, now I get it. Any other uh, gods? Look around, brothers. Cast your your eyes on the person next to you. What do you say? Did we have the negative options the first time through? Losers. A group of losers, like I've never uh, seen before. And our uh, uh, I'm one to think we didn't. Maybe that's my imagination. Waste of time. Our endeavor is a waste of time. Fear us, uh, world. Take a good, uh, hard look at us. Yeah, these are new options. Lemon cake and cotton candy. Lemon cake and cotton candy to your doorstep. Uh, we are uh, the the next in in, in line uh, for. Um, all right, that got him a little riled up. Brother! 
brothers. Brothers. Yeah, maybe you have to get some. It's a misunderstanding. Started down mean. the bad path. Hmm. What does my notebook say? They're a bit more excited now. They're even more mad. We're getting there. <laughs> Get wrecked. We did it, gang. Thank you, Curse Lache. It's Friday the 13th and apparently unlucky. Hey, Dr. Mario, good to see you. That's a great Ash Jesse thing. It's Friday the 13th, inherently unlucky. Do I suffer from Triskaidekaphobia? Uh, I guess is, is at the root of this. And personally, um, I want to answer as much as I can just from my own perspective, which is I, A, don't believe in luck, but B, I'm incredibly lucky. Like, if you need someone to win a coin flip, I can win a coin flip easily 75% of the time. No problem. Guaranteed results. Um, yeah, you, yeah, games of chance. Uh, I have a slight edge in any sort of 50-50 shot at anything. I'm going to say I'm luckier than the average person. So really, for me, Friday the 13th is just like the same as most days are for other people. On Friday the 13th, that's just going to be like a day where my coin flips are 50-50. So yeah, I'm gonna say is Friday the 13th inherently unlucky? Not to this guy, Mr. Lucky. To a guy in Kentucky, I'm Mr. Unlucky. Rolled well during I character a long, creation. Hard look at Finman and could instantly feel my skin creep. This guy was shady to say the least. What stat did, it, what was my uh, dump stat uh, when I did character creation? Uh, probably, Constitution. <laughs> like, I feel like weird things like, you know, bizarre autoimmune disorders and things like that. Probably, uh, probably a bad constitution score. Is that crazy guy outside gone, friend? Yeah, he's gone. I made sure of that. Whew. Well, I guess things are in order. Forgive me if I sound reluctant. I've just come to trust you cultists less lately. You question the believers. You question Father Dagon. Oh, spare me, zealot. Wasn't that long ago one of you socked me square in the mouth, no warning. Well, let's not generalize. Us cultists are a diverse and heterogeneous community. Yes. Either way, yeah, no respect for little businesses. That's, that's a sad reality. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention the big franchises moving in and cannibalizing us little guys. Literally. Right. Cannibalism. Ugh. I mean, I, I'm just trying to eat here, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, what could I do you for, friend? Hmm. Did a guy named Piavra happen to drop by your fine establishment? No offense, brother, but I'm smart enough to know I ain't supposed to be saying who's who and who ain't who, especially in these tense times, you know? Oh, I completely understand, and I appreciate the honesty. I wouldn't call the atmosphere tense exactly, more like completely insane. Oh, uh, you're just too trustworthy for me to keep my guard up, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, that's Piava passed out in the armchair over there. Sweet. I meant the ugly rumors about the meal. Oh, uh, never mind. Just my big mouth get me in tr The meal, huh? The meal, huh? Yeah, I keep hearing troubles afoot. More like troubles. a fan. Ura huh? knew that psycho butcher was trouble from the get-go. But oh no, elders know best. Too much talk of double crossing down the abandoned factory the last few hours. You know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire, huh? Dag on, forgive me for talking out of school. But if that good for nothing meat cobbler really denies the dream meat of his meal, well, there just ain't no point to nothing anymore. Wouldn't want the dreamer to go hungry, would we? Not after all the blood, sweat, and tears went into raising that thing. Cthulhu for talking. <laughs> the dreamer. Brother, you're trustworthy and all, and I like you on a personal level, but this thing's too big for us to be yapping about. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry for insisting. For talking. For talking. Are there any rooms available? Uh, they're filled to capacity. 
You don't seem happy about that. Well, well, let's just say business ain't been as uh, satiating as it could be. So, uh, you're full, but uh, not really, huh? Yeah, that, that's. I a mean, good most way hotels to run like 80% sure. occupancy yeah. is full. So, you know. What are your thoughts on the festival? To tell you the truth, it's kind of a disappointment so far. Scrawny cultists, most of them, and always roaming the streets and don't seem to ever go to sleep in their rooms like they're supposed to. I mean, it's a festival. People hardly sleep during these things. Ugh. Oh, they don't do that. I'll be up. Okay, key panel. Just access that. No keys to be. So much meat. I'm frankly afraid to. Come to pop a little glass. Sweet. Free glass. It doesn't work and I have no uh, time to look into it. Well, well, well. Chief Piovra. Sleeping off some booze. Booze. Oh, I mean, <laughs> we need a glass of motor oil for you. One more, damn it! Wake up, ding dong. Chief Piovra's leathery outfit is stuck to the armchair. Oh. Boy, now that's a puzzle. So his leathery outfit stuck to the armchair, so we're going to get a glass of oil and uh, unstuck him. Sure. Got myself a glass of oil. Neat. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me again. That seems to have loosened the armchair's grip on Piovra's rotund frame. I think I need something else there first. Really? I have to crowbar him off? Sure, I can pop him out, but how do I carry him? Oh, I need a wheeled barrel. This is quite a puzzle. Like, did we at any point actually try just like shaking him and saying get up? Wrong one. There we go. Hey, Joey. Joey, you think I could borrow that wheelbarrow for a minute? Oh, man, I would, but I'd really avoid getting on my dad's nerves right now. You know, I want to get a tattoo or a piercing soon. Something to express myself, right? And he's, like, so against it. Like... All he knows and cares about is fishing stuff. Says, I'm gonna be a fisherman. Just Pierce your like nose he with is. this fishing hook. Right, I gotcha. Hmm, let me think for a minute. Pierce your nose with this fishing hook. Hey, Joey, what if you somehow got to express yourself and keep your dad happy too? How would I do that? I have this fish hook. Think about it fish hook lip piercing. Your dad can't hate on that. It just screams fisherman. What do you say? That is so gnarly, dude. Awesome. <laughs> Whew. All right, then. You think I could get that uh, wheelbarrow for a couple of minutes? Sure, dude. Knock yourself out. Man, this is going to look so sick. Woot, woot. Is that her game yeah. on the uh, Teenage Rebellion train? Maybe clean it a bit before sticking it in your lip. I don't think it's entirely sanitary as is. Uh-huh. Thanks, Don. Sure thing. Hey, before I go... Hmm. What do you know about... Look, man, I shouldn't either know, but a lot of the fish yeah. that my dad um. and most fishermen in town catch go straight into the meal. The fish or the meal? No, you... The meal is what they've been raising over in Kraken Bay. Oh. Uh. Don't know, don't mm. care, and I wouldn't look too closely into it if I were you. Just so is all this pretty closely out of, like, heard of Cthulhu myths? The Butcher. 
Who hasn't? But officially, there's a lot of whispers of betrayal and all kinds of crazy stuff, and everybody in the EOD is a lot more on it. None of them are right in the heads. Yeah. Okay. Do you know anything about... Oh, man, don't say that out loud. They don't like that. Well, paradoxically, they speak his name out loud all the time, but geez, careful. You mean... Bigger oh, than man. Dagon, Bigger Bellhan. than Dagon. Anyway, it's just a dumb delusion like everything else the Order worships. But it keeps him a pop in business, so, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, for me, Halifax, Later, this Joey. is... Uh, I have no Watch background. Back, Donnie boy. In Lovecraftian stuff. As I was saying last week, kind of the only Lovecraft stuff I know is stuff that, like, is a product of various pastiches of Lovecraft in other media. So, like, you know, I know a Voozle from Quest for Glory 4, but I don't know anything about uh, actual Lovecraft stuff. Time to pop a cultist out of an armchair. All right, we did it. Well, here we are in the presence of Chief Piavra. Porca vaca! But hard to tell how present he really is, but it's him, all right. Ain't no discussion about that. All right, go right ahead. And Pescatori? Yeah? Well, I'm convinced he's long gone. But if by some dark miracle you do get a hold of him, show him what the EOD does to traitors. Ooh, show oh, I'll him good. show him good. You betcha. See you later, Pesce. Let him through, boys. Cthulhu for Toggin. Cthulhu for Toggin to you two. Dagon's a pretty good short story. One of his best, huh? All right. I was in. A cold, bluish green light revealed parts of rusty machinery here and there. Everything else was drowned in inky black. Probably as black as the butcher's deeds, but that remained to be seen. I was in. Just one regret. I'll never know who Randolph really was. <laughs> hmm, a hatch. It's a hatch. Can't reach it. Nothing. A container? Some kind of container, apparently. wonder if this came from the container store. Ugh, the lid's all stuck with some disgusting crud. Don't forget to put that power tool back up once you're done with it, D. Ooh, a power tool? Let's pop this baby open. Sweet. So glad we still have our crowbar. Alright. Got myself a power tool. Sweet, it's a drill. Used one of those before I'm ready to go. Nah, can't reach it. Is this a one screen kind of scenario? So it may be. It's the lever what puts the huge engine in motion. You gas up that huge engine through this. Hmm. Nothing happened. Huge, huge, huge engine. There's a lever for that. Hmm. Nothing. It'll give me a clue about what kind no of fuel it needs. Or maybe it won't. Well, now just break nah. open the hatch. Huge engine lowers and raises big metal tubes in here, but it needs fuel. Ah, there is more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, beans. Please, you ugly cultist. Ah, beans. Isn't that assuming a bit too much, given how dark it is in here? <laughs> Don't push your luck when there's an angry little kid pointing a hand cannon at you, batty. See... Now that is concerning. It's the girl from the first act, right? Society where an innocent child can easily get her hands on a. Would you like for mice to really appreciate you? Uh, uh, what? Um. Unless you really do, don't make me turn you into Swiss cheese. Get it? 
I'm not but, a cultist. Uh, but I'm not a cultist. Mm, okay, let me see here. Cultist robes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned factory? Check. I'm a private investigator in deep cover. Deep That's cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. What are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. This is not a good voice. Ah, flooring inspector, there it is. Uh, I'm, I'm a flooring inspector. Don't you know how hazardous even just standing here is? So this is standard inspector attire? Uh, no, but they, they won't let me in without it. Put it back on the shelf and step away from the shopping cart, because I'm not buying that. Perfect. I'm investigating. I'm looking for, uh, well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The butcher. The butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof. Can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything. Let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun pointing at my noggin. <laughs> I've got time. Ugh. To make an uh, extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat, I think. Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So, I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? Buzz. Oh, we'll talk about a coincidence. <laughs> Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged you, I had nothing to do with it. Kitty can be a real... They actually got Mr. Gillsby back for me. I hate to say it, but they're kind of all right in my book. I, I, I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. All right, she knows Buzz Wait, from know the first Buzz act. Yeah, we swapped dolls a while ago, back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Unlike what you are doing to the fishies, you you bad, bad people! Kitta eats fish. You hate her too? <laughs> well, wow. she can't help it, you dumb, dumb, can't she? Throwing her under the bus. She's a carnivore, that's natural. What you are doing is not. True enough, she's just a cat. And you're just a kid. I don't pretend to understand anything about you peep you kids, but I do know that you're playing hand. with dolls, not handling firearms. Come on, just hand it over. <laughs> he stole some commentary, <laughs> but you are not getting this gun. So step off, Grandpa. No, oh, not you too. I'm I'm really not that old. You are old, and you stink like dead rotten fishies. Fishies, <laughs> you probably murdered with your stinky. Hands. Actually, they were already dead, and they rained down on me like ironic, putrid offerings of the heavens. I, I can't tell if I'm more bored or annoyed with you at this point. I don't even like fish. I, I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. So then why are you killing so many of them? Stop, Again, don't talk about that, Grant. Say, RJ. But it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well, we'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm. Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. Yeah. I figured they'd all have names like... Aljuis? Mm, nah. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. All right. Uh, I, I'm game. Would a cultist yes. have a what crowbar? You if you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss... Priscilla. Are you uh, sure? Ah, Priscilla, that's Get her there. name. Get to it! Could not remember her name for the life of me. Let's see. Oh, a lever. Nice big lever over here. It ain't working. Okay. At least the lights are on now. That helps a lot. There's this this continuity. That's one impressive, gigantic door. But this continuity. Strange. 
There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. Cover it well! Cover it well! Oh, wow. That's I know Kung Fu. Aha! It's a heavy sliding door. It's riveted shut. Maybe not on the door it's... Oh, maybe on the rivets. Hope this battery's charged. Mine never is when I need it. Thank God for technology. It's this improvised sleeping area. Didn't really expect to see mattresses and pillows lying around in here, but there they are. I don't want to touch any of them. I don't blame you. Locked from the inside. Let's go, Don. I stepped inside and felt my teeth instantly chatter. This was some kind of cryo room. And I didn't bring thicker underwear. <sighs> Lithium gels are pretty good at this now. I can grab the drill. Uh, pretty much where I uh, usually working. Yeah, I have a very old, very cheap one. I probably need to replace it. A portable insta freeze. Neat. I'll take that. I kind of like this game's use of darkness. I wasn't sure about it at first, but seeing that it's a stylistic choice junk, the industrial and consistently flavor. used, I kind of like it. It's just junk. I don't need a but gas caster. Come to Papa, sweet gasoline. Sweet gasoline, gas, gas, gas. There's a blue liquid inside this tube. Liquid nitrogen, perhaps? So fuel, so fuel. Nah, can't reach it. Some kind of strange display with cycling buttons on both sides. Hmm, it's a machine for cyclists, eh? Not exactly ready to carry. Whoa. Frozen heads? Huh. One's missing. Kickstarter backers? Oh no. A jolly good day to you, sir and young miss, if day it indeed be. You'll forgive my disorientation, I trust. I've been holed up in here for quite a while. I suppose thanks are in order for opening that blasted <laughs> door. Truly appreciate it. Oh, wow. No offense. What you got time. going on here? Who or uh, what are you? Oh, do forgive my rudeness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm quite sure that my name is Otis, but I'm afraid much of my biography is as much a question mark to myself as it is to you. I'm not wrong in surmising that this is the first time you're engaging in conversation with the human-octopus hybrid, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Don't worry, Mr. Octopus Person. I like you. You're kind of a fishy, so you're okay. Haha, <laughs> well, yes, young miss. I assume I am. Aren't I? Please, call me Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I'm Vasilla. And this guy over here is Don. He's a private detective. Yes, she believes me. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, Otis. What's your deal when you aren't repairing elevators? What, uh, what can you remember, Otis? I do remember my name was Otis, and I, well, I died. I'm afraid I can't remember the circumstances. I did wake up at the hands of these persons that were operating on me. Strange sensation, to be sure. But I was alive again. Quite a blessing, sir, I assure you. You have a quite Yeah, Otis has a great mustache. This is the second good mustache ahead. we've How seen in the I game. Not? I was dead, and now I live. Is there a greater joy imaginable? I think not. That's a refreshingly positive attitude. Thank you. I was always an optimist, and as you can see, good things have happened to me. Indeed. Good things have happened to me. Did you see the butcher? Yeah. Did you? I'm afraid I don't know what butcher you speak of. Well, 
Well, everything's a bit foggy, you understand. All I can remember are masked men rushing about with all kinds of strange instruments. Their speech was mm -hmm. muffled, so it was pretty hard to make Sound anything like cultists out, to me. I'm afraid. Dang it. I do remember them referring to me as a dry, if that helps at all. Uh, dry. Any idea what that means? One can only assume it has some negative implications, but that's pure speculation on my part. Do All you right. know where the laboratory is? Yes, I do. Indeed, we are chatting away when we should be getting out of here at this very instant. <laughs> no one's going anywhere until we reach the lab. Oh dear, I must be frank with you, young miss. I intend to leave oh, the as soon as possible and suggest you do the same. Come on, Otis, work with us. You ain't gotta go back in there, just help us get in. Oh, heavens. Well, all right. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. The laboratory is right outside this chamber and to the right. Really? It's just that? I'm not sure I want. Now get back. As you. Hey, kid. I think I thought of a way to get us past those huge doors, but I need you to trust me, okay? What do you mean? I'm gonna need that gun of yours. Fine, I trust you. Sweet Do gun gift. Not let me down. Yeah, on this channel, we frequently talk about. That's a promise, Priscilla. <laughs> how many adventure game puzzles could be solved with a gun, and now we finally have one. There's really nothing a gun can't fix. Let's see here. A little bit of that go juice in the old admission valve. Drink up, big buddy. Now let's pull the engine lever. I'd gotten the engine to run. At least now, any loud noises would be covered by the engine's humming. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's all we're doing with the engine, it's just creating a distraction? Not helping. Oh. Thought maybe we'd weaken it with... Looks extremely bulletproof. Hmm. Not helping. Hmm. I what that lever up top does. Hmm. This means there's got to be some way to get inside it, whatever it is. Oh, is that just to tell you you can get in the... I guess that's to hint you toward the secret door existing. Hey, Metalli, good to see you. Welcome, man. Batter up. Hear the call. Let's do this thing. So far, so good. We're getting close to the end. This chapter's been uh, awfully talky so far, so I don't know if we'll get to the end tonight, but we're nearing it's nearly it. out of range. Let's see. Yeah, no. Not helping. Hey, Malvazed. Um, I've really enjoyed it uh, so far. Definitely funny. If you like point-and-click adventure games, um, I think it's a pretty good one. It's the sort of game where I've felt challenged at every turn, but uh, usually with you know just a little bit of thought, the next puzzle is not that hard to figure out. So it's not like a cakewalk, but at the same time, it's uh, you know not one that you're going to have to consult a walkthrough constantly and i found it pretty funny i mean you know that humor is pretty subjective but for me uh the gags land um it's got a little bit of sort of a disc worldy vibe to it that i dig but uh, yeah thanks for dropping in I've, I've enjoyed it so far we're close to the end here so we're in deep spoiler territory it's been a while but here goes oh sweet
I got rid of the glass above the door to the lab. Seeing as you're the only one with suction cups, think you can do us a solid and get inside the lab through there? Oh dear, I suppose I can. To be perfectly honest, I'm shaking in my non-existent boots just at the thought of going back in there. Come on, you can do it, Otis. Yeah, you go, Otis. The voice acting is one of my favorite things so friends. far. <sighs> All right, here I go. Oh, don't touch the broken glass, Otis. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's it's all coming back now. The pits. The horrible pits. The non-dries. They're horrible gnashing and gnawing and... Oh, this is too much to bear. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, oh, what do you know? It's a coin. <laughs> oh, and of, of course, n no pockets to put it in. Great. Oh, God, the abominations. Focus, Otis. Focus. <sighs> Ah! Ah! Uh, all right, it's open. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Otis. You are incredibly brave. Well. Wow. Yes, c c could I please go now? There are horrible things in there, and I don't wish to spend another second in their vicinity. Where are you headed to, Otis? I, uh... Oh, it appears I really have no place to go, do I? <sighs> yeah. I thought that might be the case. Is that the same Look, exact here's my office back in Darkham. The key's under the doormat. Make yourself at home until you, uh, think things through, all right? How exactly is he going to make it there without attracting attention? You're right. Hey, I have an idea. Priscilla, you should mail him to my address. You know, like a, like a pet or something. Yeah, like you mail pets. And we want to see the laboratory and save the fishies. You said it yourself. Otis is sort of a fishy, <laughs> and he needs your help. Once you mail him, you can come back and we'll explore together. What do you say? I mean, I guess you're right. But don't explore too much without me, you hear? You can count on me, partner. Don't get ahead of yourself. See ya! Many thanks again! All the best! Oh, it's jolly good to get a second chance, isn't it? So many opportunities! Mike? Hmm. Let's see here. Why? Why, I could be on telly, my dear. The one true talking head out there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> See, little one, always keep a positive outlook. Ew, ow. T just a second. Stepped in some oily <laughs> thing here. Ew. Well, I guess it's slithered, actually, isn't it? <laughs> You're funny, Otis. Well, that was surreal. <sighs> All right, let's see what secrets this place holds. s s s s secrets I thought that might be a chapter break. Oh, this has the look of a puzzle. A puzzle. A pit. Another pit. It's a dark, deep pit, but down there I can just make out something... Wrong, squirming around. Another pit. Another unseen creature writhing at the bottom. Is this some sort of uh, Lady and the Tiger situation? It's stuck. Well, I happen to have... Katype's got leverage. Oh, looks no. like a view of this room from above. And there's a cage hanging overhead. Huh. So the button opens both the door and the monster's pits. Devious. Hey, Sith Princess. Yeah, it definitely has uh, some raspy Batman vibes. That's all the creeps loose, but at least I'm safe once I press this button. <sighs> I don't see a better option. So what I just do? Don't understand this at all. This definitely opens somewhere else. How's it going, Sith Princess? Glad to see you. He's got that grizzled private investigator voice. Oh no, unspeakable horrors. Ah, oh, beans. Hey, Abomination. Wow. 
These guys hate liquid nitrogen. Just can't stand it. <laughs> the real monster here. Maybe that was sort of a jerk move. Wait, what, what? I hate to admit it, but I was shaken. Experiments are not. Scientific reality or abhorrent supernatural nightmare. These horrible blobs of flesh, limb, and rot existed. I could still smell their indescribable presence, even though they were all gone. God knows where. It really takes a lot to shake me, but I... I, I was, was shooketh. shaken. I was shooketh. A piece of wood? You know I'm getting that. Sweet. Pebbles? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I might need Fruity these. or cocoa. I was in. I was inside the butcher's inner sanctum and I had expected this place to be lousy with guts and gore and parts and pieces, but but this wasn't that. This was well colorful. I wouldn't colorful go so far to say that. It uneasy and it set me to wondering what this guy had for triangles. So many triangles. Whoa! Hey! Wow! I've noticed these dust mounds everywhere around here. What the heck are these things? This stuff looks similar to the stuff in Flamel's... Ugh, no. Huddle! Huddle together, lovelies! What? It's a real horror for an adventure gamer. Never ending clickables. I mean, I do have to admit, like... I know myself, I can't not click on things. So yeah, when I see a room like this, it's like, oh, this is going to be the next 30 minutes of my life. A strange, strange device. Seems to be out of... No idea how to use this. No idea. Do as father tells you, little one. Left wing pain and right wing pain, that's pretty good. It's a loose handle. And there it was. A loose handle hanging conspicuously from the door of an empty cabinet. Give me that handle. Sweet. A painting of a wing. Stylistically, very similar to the central piece. No apparent way of directly interacting with it. Hmm, directly, you say? What if I threw rocks at it? Not throwing rocks at art. Wait, what was that? Not throwing rocks at art. Not throwing rocks at art. Well, who's art and what's he have to do with it? Some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. Oh, they have built in shelves? Ooh. It isn't powered. Left! Point left! Oh man, so many hot spots. An assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me or code. They're no use. Save with this central painting that's too dark to see. I stared at the Kraken head, and it seemed to stare back at me with its blood red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to. Wow, we don't have any kind of gamma, do we? Silently say to myself. Hmm. Oh well, worth a try. Look at these papers. Ooh. And yeah, those make police best sense to me. What my note in my notebook say? They are always watching. Always watching. Always watching. M C H K. As tempting as it. Damn. No. Damn. No power. Damn. It's my Duke Nukem voice. Of all the things in here, those alone seem to justify this nutter's nickname. I'm not touching them. It's a nutter's nickname. 
A couple of vertical openings. Something's missing here. Yeah, this fits. But if this is a power generator, it might make for a shocking experience. I need to use the power back on, but I need a shock-free handle for it. I don't see an opening this. Hmm. Hmm. I'd love to, but I see no apparent way of turning it on. Wonder what I need to do here. Doesn't feel like my solution's outside. I mean, the way the game's been working up to this point, it tends to be fairly linear in that you just always keep moving ahead. What am I thinking? I know. Like, nothing I see here looks like something that's going to insulate anything. Just break it off, break it we can off. fly. It's missing. Nothing happened. Hmm. MCHK. Any thoughts, gang? Maybe the head can grip it? Yeah, I think he left, though. So, oh no. Let's go back out and see if there's anything. Yeah, he and uh, Priscilla both left. Oh, the head of the power tool. Mm, maybe so. Let's try that. So I can't leave out of here anymore, can I? Like, yeah, so whatever our solution is, it's here. Wouldn't help. Anything in the pits? Good question. Before, there were some unspeakable horrors. Take a closer look. No. Horrible screeching. Good, good, good. I don't want to throw them in there. I'm not throwing it in there. Oh, the power tool and the handle. Oh, wait. Oh, look at this, look at this, though. I've put a nice round hole in it. Ah, so the princess, you sent me on the right direction. All right. Get there you are. Shock-free switch. That is um, fantastic. Adventure game solutioning. Very good. Thank you. Wasn't what you're, th you know, that's the best kind of adventure game solution is when it wasn't what you imagined, but it works anyway. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, perfectly, perfectly normal adventure game solution. Exactly. Working as intended. Yes. Power's back on. All right. Let's take a look. As tempting as it. Dang it, Don. Oh no. Oh no. Four letter code. What was the code again? It was MCHK. See. 
H. There we go. Okay. It's one of these bad boys looks like a K. Just try to remember what K looks like. I'm not getting super strong K vibes from any of these. Hey, one short eye. It's like the letters are in the, oh, B, C, D, E, F. No. Yeah, I guess they are. So let's try this again. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Yeah, you're right about C, Sith Princess. K. H, I, J, K. Moth to the flame. Ooh. The book. Nothing on the cover but a triangle. This better not be written in gibberish. Ah, oh, dang it. It'd be great if the puzzle was just translate this now. Got all that? Put out the pen and paper. Here it goes. It's old school adventure time. Some control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. Oh no. Oh wait, I think. Let's see here. Right. Point right. Bring the world to its knees. Oh, wait. Point right? So what do I need to put in there? Left! Point left! sure if I had the right points going the right way. Manual comes with a full dictionary. In any case, I did. What letters do we think we need? It quickly cycles through some... No idea. Hmm. <laughs> Consult the papers again. Maybe that symbol? The keyhole looking symbol? Food is plentiful and the little one grows steadily. Hey, dead stick. Let's see. Where is that keyhole esque symbol? There's a symbol on the computer screen. Hmm. There kinda is. Let's see, let's look at the papers one more time. So I was looking at this, but maybe that's not it. So 
symmetrical control panels that look like doors left and right of the lab. The access codes need uh, seem to be a combination of direction arrows and what I think is some strange alphabet. I don't see a symbol that looks quite like that keyhole symbol that's on the thing. Hmm. What do we think, gang? There's that triangle symbol again, but I don't think that's what we need. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's in the butt. Take a look, it's in the butt. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. So that's P Man Harp. Or if that's left or right. Food is plentiful, and the little one grows steadily. Right? How do we know that? Oh, the arrows in the book were pointing right? I bet I got one of the symbols wrong. It's the thing with the little scroll at the bottom. Is this yeah. That looks like left. The P Man Heart. Yeah, they are at a weird angle. Okay, so a P with a little thing kicking out the bottom of it. There it is. P. A, B. A, B, Y? After the Battle of Yavin? Ooh. It's a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. Thank y'all for the help there. I really don't need it. Maybe just its story. Got it. Oh, to the place. Oh, to the place. Idiot. Idiot. Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD. Get it through your thick skull. I really... Whatever passage used to be here. I don't, no, from what we can tell, it is not a game where we have to worry about dying. So far, certainly it hasn't been. Take it, die. Idiot. Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD. Get it through your thick skull. Ooh, throw a rock at it. That's a good idea. I think I need this. Dang it. Don Archetype. So do you think we just do it the other way? Just throw one. Yeah, you are going to need exactly that many, right? Come on. Perfect 
Oh wait, they and EOD. <laughs> Great, so we finally went back to the last puzzle in Ace Ventura. It's not quite that bad. Okay, so it's gonna be EOD. A, B, C, D, E. I, J, K, L, M, N, O. A, B, C, D. Got it. Yeah, we got Sith Princess. We were on the same same track there. All right. And what did we do? Wow. Trusted the butcher. Put our faith in the Carnifex. Double cross by Carnifex. that, that <clears throat> freak. I'm sorry. Denying the dreamer <clears throat> his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid <clears throat> misplaced loyalty. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? Yeah. Can I tell you right now? <coughs> it is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge was always behind that lunatic. Yeah, this is one of the better animated I adventure know, games I've ever played. I see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad? You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother <laughs> Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. Good thing a true believer cast the first stone. Well, egg. And the crowd swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake. B -b but it happened. Mm. Truly it has happened in our fishmouth during our festival. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I've always said that Curse of Monkey Island, I thought, was maybe the prettiest adventure game of all time. And I'd still maybe stand by that in a lot of ways. But what this game kind of gives me the vibes of is like a natural Emil. progression if more adventure games had continued in the direction of like really lushly animated cartoon style graphics. Like, this is why I imagine fools we were. that could have turned out. Is that person supposed to look like a cat? Possibly. What did the butcher call it? Oh man. This little one. I don't want him to know I'm here. Curse his name. Delirious cultist, swaying cultist, prostrate cultist, not the prostate cultist. Weird fish person priest, that checks out. We are lost, we are lost, I tell you we oh, are Oh, this is fun. That's strange. Can you even begin to imagine what the repercussions will be? I cannot. I will not. Stars fall on you! Huh? What am I supposed to be doing? Stars. Here? I thought these guys were. We're all about fish. Butcher. Stinking stingrays. How did we even trust him with a moniker like that? Suffering. I don't think I can. They're not hot spots. Huh? Haunter. Yeah, I met this. Oh, wait. Enough of this masquerade! Oh, no. I knew it. Treason. There's the one true God, you fish-loving heathens. And his name is the Haunter. How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon? You broke into our temple and stole the troubles of Hedron! Now you're going to pay! We'll feed you to the fish! Give us the book! Now you give us the book! Oh my god, little kid! Wh what are you doing? Oh no. This is great. This is fantastic.
As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witnessed the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure Survivors. that's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. I'm just worried about the kid. Hmm? No need, Grants. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore. And their bellies are nice and full now. You really shouldn't have witnessed that. Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look, water's draining and the fishies are returning home. A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> Don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Okie doke. I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun. See you around. Take care, kid. Hi, Priscilla. Crazy world we live in, huh, Mr. Basara? Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether thanks are in order. I, I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve grows stronger. All right. So, what are you doing in this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing? You might joke about the sightseeing, but that is part of why I'm here. All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful. Mm -hmm. Powerful I storm. I strongly expect some kind of... Some kind of sign soon. I was like, Kuna. Coming storm, waiting for the signs. Got it. What sign? Why here of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through It's a, a multiple chapter storm. game. We're near the end. Like there's maybe one or two more chapters. But... This is the highest steeple in Fishmouth, with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written. So it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate. If only we had time. Yeah, the other playable character's Bud Lightyear. You got it. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ask. Oh man, that's a lot of uh, dialogue. I'm playing here over on the side <laughs> with uh, this uh, this fine. Uh, softball catcher's mitt. Uh, this was uh, something I picked up for my daughter recently uh, who started occasionally playing catcher for her softball team. She plays catcher in first base right now and she didn't have a catcher's mitt and uh, I bought this. And I don't know how many people out there, maybe you live outside the United States in a country that doesn't play a lot of baseball or softball or maybe you've just never really fiddled with one, but when you buy a glove, a baseball glove or mitt, they're completely useless. Um, they're so stiff, they can't catch a ball. You can't work your hand in them in any way. So it becomes incumbent upon you once you buy one of these things that now it's your job to break it in. And that's what I've been spending all week doing. I just sit and like fold it in on itself and like work the leather. Um, I've applied various oils and unguits to it uh you can see right now i have it like bound up with uh with string holding a softball right in the pocket of it uh it's supposed to be like this at all times when not in use um i've been just sitting around just like absolutely pounding it every chance i get um who knows with maybe another 50 60 hours of work on this thing this is going to be a usable softball glove and i can't wait uh so i'm just like I'm just eyeing it over here. It's like, man, if there's only some way for me to point, click, and work on a softball glove at the same time. But you know what they say? Strong bad, how do you answer emails with softball gloves on your hands? <laughs> Absolutely pounding and every chance I get should become a sound drop. Well, you know. Help us find and stop this butcher, Barnabas. Carnifex Cerebralis. This is the closest what to have. Big meaty man slapping me. <laughs> Not quite the same thing. <laughs> Find out from scouring Fishmoth in its festival hours, Seeker. The butcher was definitely in cahoots with. Oh, the butcher is in. The esoteric order of Dagon. I'm convinced he used them to raise some kind of sea creature, codenamed MCHK. The half goofa. And what of its purpose? Plain insanity? He had no plan. It's just a product of a lunatic's brain. You underestimate the mm. butcher. Uh-oh. 
fish playing baseball, that's as ridiculous as a fish riding a bicycle. But I'm bound by the laws of, uh, of uh, Twitch redemptions. So we will set up an art official intelligence. That's where, of course, we go um, into the Mid Journey AI bot. Um, and we ask it, Mid Journey AI bot, please use your generative powers to scrape together literally a piece of art uh, from this user generated prompt of fish playing baseball. And then I will share the results uh, live on stream once uh, once it's worked its magic. So I'll just ask it to do that. Please do that. Uh, imagine a fish playing baseball. You know, one of my most viewed videos on YouTube, and I, I archive all my stuff on YouTube. Uh, you can follow me there at Decaf Jedi uh, on YouTube. Uh, but one of my most popular videos that I've uploaded over the past several years is when we played one of the MLB baseball games and we used a cheat that gave all the players horse heads. And it's a video called something like Horsehead Baseball. And it has thousands of views inexplicably of people who I don't know if they're searching for, <laughs> for this. Oh no, Sith Princess. <laughs> Oh no, that clip. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, people like uh, horse baseball. So who knows what fish baseball will bring to the channel. Okay, well, we've got some doozies. Um, we're going to have to... <laughs> okay, we're going to make this happen. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is happening? Um, okay, so let's see here. We have... Our artificial intelligence prompt. <laughs> Fish playing baseball. I mean, I guess all I can say is, any questions? <laughs> I just would have thought it'd be pictures of the Florida Marlins. Um, but there it is. <laughs> Underwater baseball was a... I mean, I, I guess I should have seen it coming. But uh, but here we are. I just assumed it saw them out of out of the water too. I don't know why. Um, I mean, the best one to me is like the lower left. Like that one has the most interesting vibe going on. Uh, the lower right, I love how he's like got some sort of like pugil stick, or maybe like one of those sticks they use sometimes, like on the holodeck in Star Trek, instead of a baseball bat. I don't know what to think about the guy on the upper left. Like he looks like he has. Dangly, well, I guess a lot of them look like they have a dang, at least two of them have dangly legs and a fishtail coming out of their back. But yeah, I mean, all of those are horrific. Uh, top left, yeah, RJ, top left just isn't right. Nothing, nothing's good about that. I'm looking at the top right there for a second. I thought the logo on his cap was the Confederate flag, and if so, that's pretty, uh, pretty problematic. But I don't, I, I'm, I'm walking that back. It kind of looked like a blue X on a red background, but maybe that's not distinct enough to decide that's a Confederate flag hat. Bob left is like a fish trying a baseball player robot or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, all of these give us a lot to think about. Um, I mean, I think that's the most important thing to remember is we they've given us food for thought, fish food for thought, if you will. Uh, so, Thank you. Thank you for that tag team redemption between uh, Kira Salashe and Pickle Dog. It's good stuff. <laughs> okay. They misspoke. The meal. The meal. That's what they called it. These EOD kooks thought they were raising Oops. the... Let me fix my chat real quick here. Sea Monster is an edible tribute to Dagon. They trusted the person. Like an edible arrangement. Huh. He obviously took his meal, this MCHK, whatever it is, and, and escaped. Mmm, Cthulhu, okay. Is, where'd he go? Any ideas? Not exactly, but keep this in mind. Olmstein always watches, and always leaves something behind to push you in the right direction. Well, ain't that nice of him. Hmm... There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a formula. A constellation. Could be a map. Hmm. 
Thanks. Mm. I'll give it some thought. I've come across terrible things in the butcher's It's weird to have to recap the chapter at the end of the chapter. It is clear to me that Fishmouth holds more secrets than can be dug at in this small window of time we have. And time is not on our side. Mm, not like that not Rolling Stones song. That damn Necronomicon. Some use it to spawn horrible monsters. Some to make cats speak. Some might say it's the same thing. <laughs> How do we fix that? What Ormstein allowed, Ormstein can undo. Find the enemy, thwart his plans, and Ormstein will reward you. I wish I had your confidence, Barnabas. Just said that, right? Uh, could, uh, could oh, wait. Hmm. I don't have... Just a few... Okay, don't have any uh, more options. I've gotta go. I gotta meet Buzz and Peace and try to put the pieces together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the Butcher is headed and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and... Wait for a sign. Yes. See ya, Barney. Don't call me that. I really dig the Don chapters. Oh, here's Buzz in peace. Hey, kids. He's back. Nice place you've got here, Don. Glad to see you made it all right, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. No offense, dude. None taken! Yeah, Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, Peace. Oh yeah? Is he alright? He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. Sounds like dad. Uh, can we please skip the niceties and put our heads together? Right. I made my way into the butcher's laboratory. Ah! Sorry! Bad flashback! It's Would Otis! You, please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? I just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? Oh, wow. MCHK seems to be I just to told a lot of this stuff acronym. to Barnabas. What's that about? I've got a theory. MC might stand for... Dick Trace can totally do right out Massive of here. creature? I mean, that's what... As for... Half Goofa King? Massive creature, half Goofa King. Ah, I might be very wrong on that. Hong Kong, yeah, clearly Hong Either Kong. Either way, he apparently used the cult to get the monster bred and fed, and then ran away with it to who knows where. Bred and fed. Half Goofa. What? What will he do with it? Huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh boy. We need to get this guy. That's great and all, but you know, my problem? Remember what this is really all about? The Butcher and Olmstein? There's a connection there. We gotta stop always being one step behind them. The festival. The festival. Fishmouth really knows how to party. <laughs> what I can say for sure is that the esoteric order's been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man. Wasn't me who did it. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, other than that, I'm afraid Fishmouth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. The stabilizing okay. element, Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? Not Penny's boat. A terrible boat. storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? The end of all this. What Peace said when I called you guys. It makes sense. I just don't know that I want all this to end with a beast awakening. Yeah. None of us really do. I stand by my conviction. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? I mean... If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. Okay. Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? Oh, man. Uh, Constellation? 
So that was the first thing we thought of, but it doesn't match any known stars. It still feels like something viewed from above. Wait, I have an idea. Yes, please. Hand over that mouse box. You seem smarter than us. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. I'm I'm not prying into Dawn. I'm I'm not prying. I'm I'm not prying. In, I'm I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. Copy your final, final, final version eight, Dave. I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. I'm not prying into Dawn's personal files. Ooh. So like we have some sacred geometry here. Oh wait. Maybe it's a map. Oh, here we go. There was a bell in Paris. Okay. There was a bell in Fort Maris. Don, you said my dad's in a steeple in Fishmouth. There's a bell there too. What do you know? The Galapagos Point Islands. Nemo. Point oh. what? Earth's pole of inaccessibility. What? It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. Oh, is that thing? There should be nothing there. Hmm. Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Oh, they deorbit satellites. Decades there. ago, oh. a ship called the Alert, rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives, never returned, apparently. Sounds uh, encouraging. So we got three bells plus Point Nemo. That's got to be it. We're going, right? Hold your horses, buddy. Say we go there. What do we do about the bells? Mm. I can get a hold of Vlad. I can find a way to reach Dad. I got Serge eating out of my palm, so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. We can awaken the beast, but do we want to? Or does that help the butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, right? Yes. Just a theory, but. These bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. No, it makes a lot of sense and it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? Preparedness has always been our forte. What do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. Doesn't really end there. Yeah, we need it a bat signal huh? of some sort. Tell me more. This is gonna be one long trip. Wow, we finished the chapter. I think. Yeah, that did have some scary Gabriel Nat 3 vibes there for a second. God, the rat looks like he belongs in a late 90s, early 2000s webcomic. <laughs> You're not wrong. He's voiced by Ladies the and gents, it's kind of crazy, developer. but we're really here. As far away from civilization as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Feline-ly. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? That's what it looks at Point Nemo. I think this our best bet is to split up and... Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. We might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace, how about we take the mountain? Oh, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, because it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed. 
Buzz seems like he was still probably t saying things like the cake is a lie in like 2019. Chapter 7, Point Nemo. Wow. Point Nemo. Hopefully, it all ends here, once and for all. Is it me, or does this place seem <laughs> off? Nah. And for some reason, that huge, not quite full moon up there is particularly bothersome. It's a gibbous moon. Gibbous. What? Gibbous. Almost, but not quite fully revealed. It's what you call that kind of moon. Whatever you say, Madam Scientist. Let's just... Whoa. Ah, oh, beans, I'm an abomination. Whoa, what? What is this? I don't know, but you look repulsive. What is this? What have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. <laughs> have to pay no. respects. What? This is not me. Isn't it? You just got transformed against your will into something you despise. Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, Kitty. B but I didn't even do anything. Oh god. Oh no. Y you think this is permanent? Uh-oh. Apparently not. Oh! What now? What do I look like now? Um, basic? Blocky? Everything is squares. I'm squares. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. What fresh hell? What even am I? Some kind of... Um... Uh, you're like, um... Uh... I give up. I feel a panic attack coming. This place is really doing a number on you. Wait, I'm back! Oh, praise the infinite the universe. Webcomic. I am back. Oh, that was curious. I hate to be the ever cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's... What? Yep, it's cyclical. No, no, no! The bad news is you seem to keep transforming. The good news, it's only happening to you. What can we do, Kitty? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. Uh, you're right. Let's keep going. Sweet, I'm an abomination now. It's a nice twist. Wasn't expecting to become a, a horrible abomination. I get to play once every five cycles. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I wonder how much of this Ding Dang game is left. Like, is this going to be a full chapter? If so, I probably need to call it a night. I'm going to check a walkthrough and see how much uh, how much game is left here. Point Nemo seems to be the end of the game, huh? Yeah, let's power through this. We can do this. Oh, wait, Chris Lasha, you're saying this is a full chapter? Like, I've got... Or would you say, like, I have an hour of game left? Like, this last words. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling like. So, Chris Lasha, you played this one. This one's actually a... A decently long chapter. Yeah, I'm scrolling through walkthrough, and it looks like there's a fair num number of puzzles. Probably an hour, th between 30 and 60 minutes. Yeah, I may have to... I have, Yeah, I think that's going to be exactly Sith Princess. I think it's going to be... You have to be in one of these forums to accomplish certain things. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun puzzle. But I do think I'm going to have to uh, have to quit uh, for the evening. It's a little late here, and I've got, uh, got an early engagement in the morning. But I want to thank everybody for being here. This was fun tonight. I, uh, I thought this chapter really started pulling things together nicely. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, playing through this one, I think I'm trying to decide, like, I want, we'll, we'll definitely wrap this one up in the next chapter. Uh, you know, this is the final chapter. We'll, we'll wrap it up soon. I think I'll probably play this again on Sunday night and see if we can go ahead and knock it out. And then maybe Monday I'll come back with a little bit more Gotham Knights. I want to play more of that game. It was pretty fun last time around playing as the Bat family. We were having fun bat girling around Gotham City. So if uh, those may end up reversing, it depends on how I feel on Sunday. We'll either be playing Gotham Nuts or more Gibbous on 
uh, Sunday, but you can take the decap Jedi I guarantee whatever game it is, it'll start with the letter G. Uh, you can take that to the bank. Uh, but for now, thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting and, uh, and helping me through some of the puzzles along the way. Let's see here. We should raid on out of here. Do, 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 do. Who's online? Who's having fun? Oh, this is a, a great opportunity. Robot Spacer is oh is streaming Perfect Tides, which is a game that I haven't played myself, but I watched our buddy Ben over at PS underscore Gary. Oh, hey, Seth, I'd be happy, actually. Uh, who is... Uh, uh, who would you like me to raid? No, go ahead, please. Uh, I'm always looking for new uh, new folks to drop in on. Uh, what's uh, what's your recommendation, Switch? Maddie F. What's Maddie F playing tonight? Let's see here. What is Maddie F up to? Ooh, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. That sounds fun. Yeah, we'll drop in on Maddie F. Uh, we'll switch things up. But also, I recommend everybody drop in on Robot Space or two. Playing some Perfect Tides, a really great uh, adventure game. I'm going to launch this raid and call it a night. Take care, y'all, and I will see you again, hopefully, very soon. Maybe Sunday night. Happy Friday the 13th, and, uh, and have a good one.